we're going to expand a little bit on this project that I have right here that I did on a live stream a couple of weeks ago. So let's go. Hi, I'm Tom Kovicak, and as you may have seen a couple of weeks ago, I did a short live stream on this right here, but I didn't show you all the details of how I got to that point, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video right here. Now, a lot of things that I'm doing on my module is going to be with Arduino, and this is the same right here. I'm using a servo motor on here with a servo mount, and I'm going to show you everything that leads up to what I got at this point right here. If you also wanted to power your frogs, and which I am going to do, I'm going to have relays underneath the module, and it's also going to go through this hole right here with the wires right there, and that's going to be in another video later on to show you how I get that done. But this is just to give you an idea of how I bent the wire and how I mounted everything to get to this point right here. I'm also including parts of the live stream where I showed you what I did on here, just to make it clear so you don't have to go back and uh, page through all the uh, footage on the live stream that I did on that uh, uh, topic about two weeks ago. So here we go. I'm gonna go over the components you're gonna to need to mount your servo underneath your switch. So basically, here is what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need your turnout. You're going to need a mount. This mount right here, I got from Iowa Skilled Engineering. Six of them for fifteen dollars. So that comes out to less than that comes out to two fifty a piece. Now I cut a piece of uh, quarter inch slat, and that is available at Home Depot. I got it's. Uh, quarter inch by one and a half inch by 36 inches or you can also use this basswood which is 3 16 inch by 3 inch this gives you a little bit more width right here but this is a little bit softer the the, the slat is uh, popular and it gives you a little bit more uh, depth for mounting your mount on there for you know your mounting screws on there but basically you're going to need a, the wire, 25 thousandths piano wire, a 9 gram servo. Now, now, this one I got through WaveShare because it's got the, the metal gears on it. It's a little bit uh, heftier than the regular ones with the, the plastic gears in it. Okay, and it comes with all the, uh, the arms that you're going to need. But basically what you want to do is use a servo tester to center your servo and you can pick these up at Amazon uh, most of the stuff is available at Amazon except for this right here this is Iowa scaled engineering but uh, let me turn this thing on right here and plug this in and what you want to do is make sure that the and I'll just put this arm on here so you can see it turning while I'm doing it okay so this is the uh, that's the center so I'll make sure that this is as close to center as I can get it and we'll do it this way. Now that looks pretty close. Let's try the opposite direction to see if it'll line up a little bit better on the uh, 90 degree. That's pretty, that's pretty close. So that's pretty close to 90 degrees right there. But uh, we'll go through this. This is the sweep function. This is uh, where you could put it wherever you need it. And then, boom, the center right there. So right now we have it in the center position. So we'll leave it right there. What you want to do with your wire, with your 25 thousandths piano wire, is uh, make a 90 degree turn.
turn at approximately a quarter inch and make a second 90 degree turn at another quarter inch and what I used was these pliers right here these duckbill pliers and it's pretty close to a quarter inch you know not exactly but it gets you right there this third angle on here is another 90 degree angle but this angle right here is the thickness of your arm right there and what I did was I'm I pushed this in through there and then uh, bent it but you could do it however you want and with the uh, with the quarter inch it usually comes out to the fifth fifth hole on here so one two three four five push that down through there like that and you'll see that and I made this this first angle here a little bit less than 90 degrees because it makes it easier to go into the the hole but you could take your your pliers which will make it a little bit easier and just push it on through okay so you see this is what you have right now your your wire is coming straight through straight up and what you want to do with that is just take this last 90 degree make sure this is up tight against there and then bend this one over to lock it in place and I think the best way to do that is I'm going to hold it with this hold it over here like this and I'm going to take my other pliers and start bending it get it started and once you get it started then you can bend it down so now it's solid in place and you can mount this on your servo now you can, you remember that it was just a little bit off of 90 degrees but you can see whenever I have this on here you could adjust this a little bit to have it going straight up so we'll take this uh, screw right here and we'll just move this arm this wire off to the side a little bit and then screw this into place and we can stick that right above right there okay now the way this is going to sit on the mount I have the screws started on the mount get them snug but don't over tighten it okay now what you want to do is find the center of this and you can mount this on there just like that put your wood screws in here like this and then mount this underneath your turnout so this is going to be like this like here okay but you say what about the road bed okay well I'll get to that you could use the manufactured road bed or what I'm using on mine right here I have some left over so I'm gonna use this right here we're just gonna cut a piece that's gonna fit right there but what we're going to do is we're going to leave out whatever is left over on the outside of the throw bar we're going to have cork from here to about right here so when you set this into place 
you'll have cork on your layout over here and cork on your layout over here and you're just going to be worried about the cork right here and this will be sitting underneath it like that so all you have to do is cut a hole in your one inch pink foam the size of your plate right here where you want your turnout to be but what I suggest is mounting it I'm not going to mount it on here right now I'll mount it a little bit later when I show you the foam but what you want to do is locate where you want where you have your turnout on your layout before you mount this on your layout you want to glue your cork to the turnout but that's all you have to do that you need to turn out you need a, uh, a little piece of wood either quarter inch or three sixteenths a servo mount a servo with the arm and a little twenty five thousandths uh, piano wire you could pick this up at any hobby shop or basically anywhere and this will operate now I have a, I have a video showing you how to center this with without the without the servo tester and to determine what your range is for the turnout because you're not going to need that much maybe 10 degrees at, at, at if that but uh, that's going to be really close and that's that's all you need on there just like that let me give you a sneak peek at this right here this is the two inches of foam that I was talking about and before we get to that part You know I have to put that in there before we start at the workbench. But I wanted to show you because there were some people that di didn't understand how to get your turnouts working. And I know Mark had a question about it. Uh, about uh, the foam on the, on the last one. And I didn't get to address it. I think uh, Nathan uh, explained it to him. But anyway, here is what I have. I worked on a little display for it. And as you can see, I got two inches of foam. I got road bed here. Let me get it off this clamp. I just had that clamp there so it would stand up so you could see it on the edge to see how thick it is. But that's what it looks like right there. I got a Y. This is a, a Walther's. Uh, I think it's a number four Y. And I, instead of using the manufactured uh, road bed, I just cut out a piece of the... Um, the road bed that I use on the bulk road bed that I got from Home Depot. I got T pins holding this down because I don't have anything glued down right now. Let me see if I can get these pins out of here and hope I don't break it while I do it. Oh man, that one is stuck. All right, so there's the turnout. Okay, boom. There's the road bed. Now I'm going to separate the two pieces right here and you can see that the one piece of foam I have the servo mounted on a piece of uh, piece of wood and I'll show you what type of wood it is and it just uh, fits like that. You could shave down these um, screws right here if you need to. But anyway, it fits almost in there. You just have to cut a little hole in the uh, in the second piece of foam if you're going down two inches because you can see the arm sticks out just a little bit so what I did was I cut a piece out here for the arm and then cut a hole right over here for the wire to fit through yeah, right through there and you don't have to go too deep because I mean that's probably maybe uh, a little bit over a half an inch, maybe five eighths of an inch. But anyway, let me pop this out. You just cut yourself a hole in the foam, and this is mounted to a slat. Quarter inch by one and a half by 36 inches. You can get these at Home Depot, uh, like two and a half inches. So I could fit that real nice on these uh, 
servo mounts. And these servo mounts I got from Iowa Scaled Engineering. And they're really neat. And it's not very hard to bend this little wire here. So it fits underneath there. So this one right here, let me get this right here. This one, oops, wrong end. Let me get the other side here. This one right here is actually sticking straight up like that. Boom. And then you make another 90 degree turn to make it look like a little box. But then this one over here is only the thickness of the lever right there. And then once you get this, you know, wound in there, you just uh, clamp this one down to hold it in place and it stays wherever you want it to. And these things are adjustable. They got nice slots in here so you can move this around on whatever you want to uh, mount it on. I got this idea from when I was in Hagerstown when I was talking to uh, uh, Milt Tigler. That's his name, Milt Tigner, Tigler. When I was talking to him, he was doing the turnouts, the O-scale turnouts with fast, fast tracks. And he mounted the tortoise machines right underneath, right onto the turnout so he could just drop the turnouts right into place. And that's where I got this idea right here. Since uh, you got two inches of foam plus another half inch of uh, plywood to go through, plus uh, this quarter inch of uh, road bed right there. And so that's all there is to it nothing to it. Arduino is a big part of my module project. Everything on the module is going to be run with Arduino and this is no exception right here. So I'm going to have some more on this. We're going to, I'm going to show you a little bit more on the PCA 9685, which I did a video on. And you can also refer back to that and the ones on the servo, uh, adjusting the servo and centering the servo. Uh, there's three videos that may be of uh, interest to you that I have a link in the description that will lead you up into, you know, what you can do to uh, prepare your servos for this right here. So, until the next time, we'll see you.